If you are using a Crossfire receiver and some of your aux channels are not showing up in Betaflight, or in this case, the SpeedyB app, then it may be that you need to set your Crossfire receiver on your drone, set it to the 12 channel mode instead of the default eight channel mode. I'm gonna show you how to do that and walk you through that exactly right after I say thanks to our sponsor, PCB Way! Relax, every problem has a solution, says the PCB Way robot, Robotron. PCB Way makes custom printed circuit boards, that's what PCB stands for, and they have thousands of components and parts to choose from, all kinds of different circuit board materials, and little electronic things that you can put on there. In fact, you can actually tell them what you want on your circuit board. They have a service where they can actually put all those things on the board for you and test it out before you even receive it in the mail, which is pretty cool. But if PCBs aren't your thing, they also offer rapid prototyping services to include CNC machining, injection molding, sheet metal bending, and 3D printing. And they have many different materials to choose from for each of those processes. So if you are working on a project and you want some rapid prototyping done, you might wanna check out PCB Way. I'll have a link to them in the description below this video. In case I didn't say it, hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. Let's solve a problem here. All right, here's the deal. Uh, so we've got our Radio Master Pocket transmitter, but this could be any transmitter that you're using. And some of these channels work. And I have my drone here plugged in to my phone and it has the SpeedyB app on it, which is like Betaflight Configurator app. And it's actually powering the receiver, which is why the receiver is able to connect to the transmitter. Um, it, on your drone, you may need to plug in a battery in order to power your receiver. So do that with caution if you have propellers on or take your propellers off, whatever you need to do to be safe. So the drone and the transmitter are talking to each other. I've got it plugged in here on the app so that we can see the stick movements and we are in the transmitter tab here. So we can see our different channel movements and this is how you can check and make sure your channels are working. Okay, now uh, channels one, two, three, and four are gonna be taken up with our control sticks here. And then what we have are aux switches. Now aux switches, um, aux one is actually channel five because it's like the first aux channel, but it's, it's almost always, or I think always, gonna be channel five because channel one, two, three, and four are c control sticks. So then you have aux one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 is what's showing up on here. But um, I have set up my switches, you know, that they should all work. So that's kind of a separate matter for another video. But assuming that you have set up your switches on your transmitter and they're all like supposed to work, um, you'll notice that I have uh, channels uh, five, six, seven, and eight are these switches up top or aux one, two, three, and four, okay? But uh, this momentary switch on the transmitter here is not responding. Okay, here's the solution. So what you do is with your uh, receiver powered on, you go into your transmitter here. Just for reference, I'm rocking this Crossfire. This is like the more compact module, but this will be the same for like the um, the standard um, JR size module. And then on the inside here, I happen to have a Nano RX uh, receiver. This is running Edge TX, and it should be similar for OpenTX as well. But what we're gonna do is press System. Okay, we're gonna scroll down almost to the bottom. I went too far, there we go. TBS Agent Light. Click the Enter button. It's going to scan for devices. Okay, you see it has these different options. Um, the Micro TX is what's on the transmitter. And then don't click Wi-Fi because that's not what we want. We want Nano RX. Go ahead and press Enter on there. Okay, and then it, General is already selected. So go ahead and press Enter on General. And then the very first option is Mode. And it says 8 channel. We just click that select 12 channel, click 12 channel, and that's it. And we just back out of there on the, pressing the return key and you're good to go. So now check it out. If I press this momentary switch, look at that. That works for aux five. Aux five, if I press this uh, scroll wheel, which I've actually set it up to change the um, brightness on the screen as well, but that's, that's just within the transmitter. But if I uh, move the scroll wheel, you can see 
it's moving that channel. So that's all you have to do. Now, um, I don't remember if, if there are any big differences between using eight channel and 12 channel. I remember hearing something about, it might be like a tiny little bit faster or like you might get like more range on the eight channel versus the 12 channel. Um, but so far I have not noticed any difference and I don't think that will be an issue for me. Um, but like I said, most of the time you can get away with using eight channel, but you know, guess what? If you need to use 10 channel, you got to use 10 channel and you know, that's, that's all there is to it. So hopefully that was helpful for you. If it was, leave me a comment or if you're still confused, leave a comment and I'll try to help you. All right, everybody keep up the good work, get out there and fly something. And I will see you again very soon.